Good morning, Pax and Panthers. Today is Wednesday, February 14th, El Dia de San Valentin. Happy Valentine's Day. I have a couple birthdays from this week I have not yet announced. So here are some birthdays from this week. Uh, Henry Gill had a birthday this week. Clive had a birthday this week in second grade. Uh, Joseph in kindergarten and Alice in kindergarten as well. Happy birthday to the four of you. So I have with me Mr. Oliver. Hello, everybody. And we've been talking about the zones of regulation, as you know. So what we're going to do today is we are going to think about a couple, a handful, a few situations that might happen in school. And Mr. Oliver is going to react two different ways. And we're going to give you time to think about what would be the better way to react. And then I am going to be Mr. Oliver's classmate. And I'm going to explain how each one of those might make me think, what it might make me think, or how it might make me feel. Sounds good, Mr. Oliver? Okay. Ready to go. So let's, the first one. The first scenario is someone cuts you off in line. So what might be two ways to react to that? And I'm just going to describe the way. So I'm going to, and you think about how you might think or feel. If someone cuts me in line, here's the first response I'm going to give. I'm going to give them a shut. That's one response. Another response is I'm just going to move, take a step back, and maybe say, you know what, you just took me cuts in line. So thinking about how each one of those would make me feel, if uh, Mr. Oliver, um, if I... If, if Mr. Oliver shoved me, I imagine that would put me in the red zone and I would have a really hard time just letting that go. I'd be tempted to shove you back and I'd be tempted to do something I really shouldn't do. But if the second thing, if you just took a step back and said, um, you know, I really don't like that you cut me, uh, there's not much I can do to that. It's probably not going to turn into a fight. I would just feel, um, I might even feel bad that I cut you. And so the first one would make it worse. Much worse. Yeah. Okay. All right, so the second scenario is my friends want to play soccer at, at recess, and they play soccer all the time, and I wish we could play something else. What would be two ways to react? Well, I'm going to model this one. No! I want to play basketball. I want to play basketball. No! Hmm. That's one. Okay. I was looking forward to doing a little bit of acting. What's the second one? The second one, I think I might say, because my friends always want to play soccer, you always want to play soccer, is I, I would talk to you and say, you know what, I like playing soccer too, but sometimes I want to play basketball. Could we play basketball next recess? Hmm. So how would those make me think, or what would they make me think, or how would they make me feel? That first one, I, it would make me feel like I probably don't want to play with you at all. Sorry, Mr. Oliver, but if you're yelling and throwing a tantrum, I might not, might not want to play with you. But if you say, we play basketball all the time, can we play soccer instead? Uh, I might say, yeah, yeah, we can do that. Or I might say, can we play basketball today and maybe tomorrow we can play soccer? Take turns, use our words, work it out. Yeah, exactly. Sure. Okay. okay. We will do two more. The first one is someone...